Are you locked down and working from home? If you're like me and work from home a lot, you might be finding yourself sitting in quite uncomfortable positions a lot of the time. And sometimes sitting in these positions for a longer period of time might actually be dangerous for your body. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can easily improve your working from home setup to make it a both more ergonomic but also a more productive setup. If after watching this video you liked it and you want more of my content, it would be super nice if you wanted to subscribe to the channel and also click that notification bell so you are notified when I release a new video, which I usually do once or twice per week. I will be using a few different products for this kind of setup and if you want to buy any of these products, they are all linked in the video description below. So have a look there if you're looking for any of these. If you don't have a laptop for working from home or you have one but you don't like it, I have also made a laptop purchase guide that you can use to be able to buy a laptop that fits your needs as well as possible. I will link the laptop purchase guide also in the description below. Now let's talk about working from home setups. If you are like most people, you probably don't have a regular setup for working at home. Because most people actually work in the office and then they don't work when they are at home. So if you were locked down or had to work from home since coronavirus started hitting the world, you might find yourself working something like this at a kitchen table with not an ideal posture, maybe just using your laptop without any other accessories. This is definitely not the most ergonomic way to work with your laptop. The main problems I see with this is that you are gonna be looking down at your laptop, but not just a little bit down, which you actually want to achieve. You're gonna be looking a lot down. When I sit with an upright back here, still I will be looking down towards the screen and I put some tension on my neck in the back here. This gives me a tendency to want to come down because I want to come down to a more even level with the top of the screen. That's not very good. And this gives me a true hunchback position with the shoulders moving forward, the neck moving forward and the spine being very bent. The second thing that I find interesting here is that you have the arms in a bit of a raised position especially if you're like me here and work from a table that is a little bit too high, then the laptop makes the typing position even a bit higher. So with this chair and table combination, my arms are actually angled a bit up and I would aim for my arms to be in a 90 degree position or even a little bit down. To improve this setup, we will start with the simplest thing you can do. So when we take a pillow and put onto the chair, we get moved up a little bit and therefore this position will be way better. We will have about a 90 degree angle here and my typing position is so much better here and I don't put as much strain onto my wrists, hands and shoulders as when I have them angled up a little bit. However, with the pillow on the chair, you're still able to lean back and create all sorts of still very bad positions. And one way to remove the opportunity to do that is to change out your chair and put a stool instead. When you can't lean your back back, you can actually have a quite improved posture and a much more straight back when you're sitting. And you're actually activating your core a little bit as well when you have to sit up. So I think this makes my posture quite a bit better when I'm working at a table. The next step you can do is to, instead of using your trackpad on your laptop, get an external mouse so that you move your hand out to the side of your keyboard area and you can actually have a more straightforward placement of the hands. So if you have one hand on the mouse and the other hand on the keyboard, and then you can move your hand just sideways when you need to type and then back to the mouse when you need to use the mouse. I've used this mouse, the Logitech MX Master 2S for about a year and a half now, and I really appreciate it. I have pretty big hands, but this mouse fills out the space that my hand will create really well. And therefore I don't have to tension up my hand or my wrist at all when it's resting onto the table. To adjust that position of looking down a lot towards the laptop, we will need to raise the laptop up from the table. And you actually don't need to have an advanced laptop stand to be able to complete this. All it takes is a few books or a few DVDs 
or maybe a shoe box that is lying around. Just put something that is raising the laptop about 20 to 25 centimeters or whatever make you look down just a little bit towards the top of the laptop screen. Once you have raised the laptop, you will realize that now you have screwed up the position with the arms again. So to be able to keep a good position with the arms, we will need to have a keyboard. I'm using the Logitech K380, which is a portable Bluetooth keyboard that I can really recommend. It is very lightweight and it works with three different units at the same time. So if you are typing on your computer and want to reply to a text message on your phone, with the press of a button, you're able to switch over to your phone and you can type with the same keyboard, but onto your phone. I haven't made a review about this keyboard yet, but it's high on my list and I will be making it quite soon. Now I've reached a pretty solid ergonomic and productive work from home setup, but if we want to improve it and make it maybe a little bit more professional and good looking, we can change those DVDs out for an actual laptop stand. I'm using the Roost stand, which is a really good lightweight and compact folding laptop stand. And I can definitely recommend the Roost stand. However, it is a bit pricey. So if you find it to be too expensive, there is a similar brand called Next Stand that you can check out. The best thing about Roost stand is that you can get your computer up to a very high height without having to pile 15 books on top of each other. This is my complete work from home setup and I really appreciate working like this. I even feel sometimes when I have this full setup that I actually wouldn't benefit that much from having an external screen. Even if this is a relatively ergonomical setup for working from home, I still think you should try to vary how you are working quite a bit. I find that you get a bit more activation in the body when you're standing and changing between standing and sitting position is definitely my preferred work from home setup. I don't have a standing desk, well I don't even have a desk at all, so there's no height adjustments available for me. So instead I'm using this piece of storage furniture that is in my room, which is actually placed in the perfect height so that I can use it as a standing setup when I want to alter my position. Even if you don't have an adjustable desk at home, maybe you also have some similar furniture that is on the right height so that you can adjust your position and stand a bit when you're working. Do you have any other tips for how to create the perfect working from home setup? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. And if you have any questions about what I've been saying here or the products that I have been mentioning, you can definitely also ask them in the comments below. I will make sure to answer as quickly as possible. I hope you are feeling somewhat good wherever you are in the world, even though you're probably under some form of lockdown right now and probably work from home even if you maybe wouldn't want to work from home. The weather has been lovely in London over the last few days, so I basically spent the whole days in our backyard and then worked in the evenings with filming and editing videos. I'm W2Best, I make videos about tech travel and inspiration, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!